All right, guys, so I put the 3000 out there in the street and it's time to start the CTSV oil cooling project here. So cars up in the air, uh, we're gonna have to get this bumper off. The one bolt on that side is seized. It just spins and I can't slide the bumper off. So I might have to just cut that. But for right now, what I'm gonna do is start by draining the oil and taking off the plate that uh, covers the inlet and outlet for the factory, what would be a factory oil cooler underneath the car hook up the AN lines to it, and then uh, just kind of route them up into the front grill area and see where they reach to so that I can then find a location for the oil cooler. All right, so I still have a pretty good amount of daylight to work with here. So it looks like I've had a leak coming from the block off plate right here that is seeping down the oil cooler because it looks pretty dry above. So I think that gasket in there is leaking and that's part of the reason why I was like, all right, well, instead of just replacing this little gasket, I might as well go with a uh, oil cooler. So the lines will go up and over and route up that way. But for right now, I'm gonna start by draining the oil here and I'll pull the filter off and then I'll work on finagling this block in here. There's some wiring here and stuff like that, but finagling this block in um, to, get it run it up and uh, get this thing routed. So while the oil drains from the plug and where the filter was, I took one out and I'm just taking this other 10 millimeter bolt out. Uh, this is a little easier for me because I don't have cats. My cats used to be right here where these pipes are. So you have a little bit more, more room to play. The cats get a lot of heat out of this area too. Um, let's see this guy by hand so what's the interesting part is i'm gonna have to figure out is once this thing is bolted up if i need to get the an lines bolted on first and then bolted onto the car or how i need to go about doing it or if there's enough room for me to crank the an lines down there's some oil in here right here in the corner the rubber looks a little messed up and it looks like that's where it was coming out so yeah, done with this. So it's gonna be hard for me to show you guys what I do because there's oil like dripping out of here. So I'm gonna try and do it fast, but basically you take the new gasket, you can see as opposed to the old one, how it now has an inlet outlet sealed off from one another. And that'll lay on there. And then this guy will bolt in just like so. And I should be able to feed the AN lines up and on and uh, get this thing fed to the front of the car and be done under here. So I took my intake out, pipe, math, left the filter box here. I actually have a new filter on the way, so I'll pop that in before I uh, finish this thing up. And it's actually a BMC filter to get rid of that old paper filter. So let's take a look down here. I see a Goodyear line. Huh. Sometimes been replaced with a Goodyear part down there. So you can kind of see back. Oh, there's the red. You can kind of see the red back behind the alternator. I'm just trying to fish these guys up and uh, towards the front of the car. So I'm just gonna reach down here and get which, whatever fitting I can and try and get a grip on it so I can pull it through. All right, got it. Got them both pulled up here now. I'm gonna go, you can kind of see those silver lines all the way down there. Uh, I'm gonna go down there and see if I can fish them around the rad and then bring them around front here uh, alongside those power steering lines. And then we should be in good shape to try and get that block, pull all the slack and then get that block bolted to the block. <sighs> Making progress. So we got the lines coming out the front like so, and the block is hanging up higher. So I'm gonna see if I can get the block bolted in now. Should be able to. I push the lines a little bit more. Yeah, these, these guys definitely wouldn't have been able to like screw on, I don't think with this whole thing attached. 
and I think I'm gonna try and feed the block around this wire harness here, unless I can kind of tuck it up. But this is a harness for the knock sensor and some other things. I don't really know where it goes, but um, I don't know, let's see. I'm running out of daylight, so this is gonna be the stopping point. But I got the block installed. It was kind of tough pushing the wiring back enough to be out of the way, but we are all good there. I think I'm gonna loosen that bolt for the uh, knock sensor and rotate it upward a little bit, just so there's not much, but just there's a little less tension on this plug. I ended up wrapping, since it gets a little close to the exhaust manifold, uh, it doesn't touch or anything, but I ended up wrapping some gold tape on here uh, just for a little extra heat protection. And yeah, so I'm gonna get the oil drain plug put back in. Uh, I don't have a filter yet that's coming in, but uh, just get this thing back on the ground. So all I have to do is um, put a filter on, do a final tighten. I ended up having to loosen these guys because the 90s, obviously, as you can see, weren't straight out like I had anticipated. Um, so I'm gonna have to tighten these down uh, with a wrench um, once everything is all set. And yeah, so we're making good progress here. All right guys, so it's the next day. I'm back here, here working. And notice my throttle body is dirty yet again. So that'll get cleaned before this whole thing gets put back together as well. But the lines are, I finally got the front bumper off. I didn't have to cut it. I just used a hammer and a screwdriver. So when I reattach it, I'm gonna have to free up those uh, connections on the other side. But here we have dash bar front end CTSV. The lines are chilling here. Plenty of slack for them to come up. Um, so I got the cooler right here. And it's gonna mount like this in the middle underneath the hood latch. So it'll be right in the path of the grill. And you guys might recognize these from when I just did the oil cooler setup on that. But I'm gonna bolt these to this bolt and this bolt back here. And uh, I have to move some of this wiring around. Excuse the wind. Uh, and then once these are bolted on, I'll kind of center this, figure out where the drill holes need to be drilled in these brackets and then we'll get that done. Um, I thought I was gonna have to use self tappers, but if I can get this all like bolt on, then that'll be much better. All right, so I pulled these brackets off and I drilled the holes out a little bit bigger just so I can kind of slide them a tiny bit outward because it wasn't really fitting. And then I put four washers behind each bolt. And now I'll be able to mount this guy up. It's spaced out enough, actually perfectly. And I'll be able to get it back up against the uh, hood latch here basically. And I'm gonna have to drill some holes in the top corners of the brackets. And then this thing will bolt right on. All right, so this is it centered, bolted on like so. A little lock washer in there. I took the ambient air temperature that I was previously mounted in that hole right there. And since I needed the space, I just popped it in one of the holes on this bracket that was already there. So ambient air temp sensor is in a good spot. All this is all secure. And now I can bring up the, this is the longer one, bring up the AN fittings, start getting them screwed in. This thing's gonna look sick when the front bumper's back on the car. So I know it got a little dark last night, but under the car we have the adapter block bolted up and I put some gold heat tape around the lines just because, I mean, it gets close to the manifold and the heat shield, but uh, I just wanted to give it a little extra heat protection. I had some gold tape. It doesn't really stick to the nylon, so I just did some zip ties around the edges so that it can't like fall off it. So it's doing its job up there and it runs all the way down. A new AC Delco oil filter here. Get this guy screwed on. All right, so I got the intake hook back up. I got the oil filled up. I tested it for leaks. Everything is good. Nothing was leaking out from the front lines. Nothing was leaking out from underneath the car. Take a look. Everything under there was dry. Nothing leaking on the ground. So we're good. We're good to go. All right, guys, so I took this thing for a test drive. Everything is good and um, yeah, nothing leaked. I'll be able to go through a full test to try and figure out how well it cools the oil. Once I actually drive it on the road, this thing barely got up to temp when I just took it for a little test drive to check for leaks. But now I have some fresh oil in it. Uh, 
yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like through the grill here real quick. You can see the AF fittings down there. Let's see it through the front. Overall, it looks pretty killer. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll be doing some more projects to this car um, in the next few weeks. Ultimately, getting it ready to try a drift event with it. But haven't forgot about the 3000, obviously. Dropping the knuckles off tomorrow for that to get reshort or shortened more. And uh, then we'll be able to get that all buttoned up. And yeah, other than that, subscribe to the channel, like this video, guys, and I'll see you next time.